Have you ever seen a photo that was so strange, so confusing, that all you could say was... Nothing. Look, maybe you haven't, but I've been on the internet a very long time, and I have been down a lot of rabbit holes on the World Wide Web. I have seen things that I cannot explain. So today, I thought, hey, let's make a video on unexplainable photos. All right, well, this, <laughs> this one is a little bit weird, okay? Because that's a lot of Coca-Cola, and that's a lot of people with Coca-Cola hats on. I have a lot of questions here, I really do. For one, uh, is there actually Coca-Cola in those Coca-Cola hats? Probably not. Number two, what are you gonna do with all the Coca-Cola bottles? Number three, why isn't that lady wearing a Coca-Cola hat? What are you, sexist or something? I am gonna do my best to try and explain this for you. All right, first of all, it looks like these people are at a bar or something. That looks like it's a bar up there. There's, uh, there's a Jack Daniels poster on the wall. I'm assuming it's a birthday party. It's a birthday party for a guy who really likes Coca-Cola. Is that really such a big deal, huh? There's balloons. Did you notice the balloons up on top there? Yep. That's what that is. I think that might be lemons in a tube. It could be tennis balls. A tube of tennis, that's a thing. A tube of lemons is not a thing. Who knows? This one is clearly partially photoshopped because there's no way that cat's actually in the picture, right? Maybe it is, but the first thing I saw when I looked at this photo was, yeah, that cat that cat was digitally added in. The photo was good enough without the cat, you know. The photo was still a bunch of kids about to possibly wipe out on a, uh, a, a sea do. So, yeah, boom, explained. Now this one here, guys, this one here is kind of strange, you know? I mean, it's a bunch of chairs. What are those chairs doing there? I think it's actually an art installment or something like that. It could just be a place where people like to put chairs, but I think, I think it's art. What is uh, Tutuku something, Kaziki, Oku, I'm just trying to read some of these. What, that, what does that mean? We're gonna find out. Let's, let's look it up, huh? We're gonna put in Tutuku and Kaziki. We'll see if we can find anything out here, okay? Tutuku, good, good word, by the way. Kaziki, bolt cutter, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Spelled Tutuku wrong. Retaining cutter. Did it really change the word that much? I put a T in there? Jeez. Cert Madden Uclari. Hmm. Hard minds. Man, this Google Translate thing is really confusing me. I'm more confused now. What does the bull cutter hard minds have to do with it? What does that, what does that mean? Corey's hard minds. Okay, this has something to do with a mine. I, I'm clearly not getting any closer to explaining this thing now, am I? <sighs> Fine. Bunch of chairs between buildings. Is this what you want? Doris Salcedo created an installation titled 1550 chairs stacked between two city buildings. Wow. That's the most original name for a thing that's 1550 chairs stacked between two city buildings. I'm glad that you took a literal approach with that one, dude. Boom. Explain the photo. Why did I say art installation, right? Jeez, these, these photos aren't very unexplainable yet, but we'll keep going. We'll find some eventually. Yeah, this one is a little bit weird. I think this guy just took advantage of a really rare opportunity. It's not every day you see a UPS truck off the side of the road, and this guy's over here, you can see there's a UPS driver there, so that makes sense. And he was uh, obviously wearing a tuxedo anyway, and he was like, hey, well, let me go get my sewing machine, and I'll be right back. Mom, get the camera. Boom, explained. You know, I think a lot of these unexplainable photos are probably just gonna be explained with the word art. As for this one, I mean, that's a bunch of dogs. It's a bunch of dogs doing the downward dog, very popular pose, especially for dogs, with one dog in the middle, just chilling out, doing doing a little thing. I actually taught my dog how to do that. She's still working on it, but she she could do it just like that dog in the middle. So I am uh, one eighth of the way to making this photo happen. As for the person standing up over there, I don't know. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is an elephant in a tree. And that's not possible. I don't think an elephant can get in a tree like that. For one, how would it get there? Two, how the hell would it stay in the tree? That's a nest. The elephants don't make nests in trees, do they? Do they? No, they definitely don't. Search by image. Elephants hiding in trees. Well, that doesn't make much sense. How can, what? Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? They are really good at it. What? Really? It's a, it's a joke? <laughs> <laughs> These five tree climbing elephants prove anything is possible. Well, maybe, maybe it is then. Jeez, I, I just thought to, I, I thought it couldn't happen. You can't climb that tree. Can you? No. Ah, look, they, 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 these are lies. These are lies. That, th none of these elephants are actually climbing the trees. They're just reaching up to get the food. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna stop with this whole elephant thing, okay? It's hurting me. It's hurting my brain. Was the elephant fake? Was the tree fake? Am I fake? Now this photo right here, guys, this is a classic unexplainable image. I have seen this many times. I mean, there's not that much to explain here. I mean, a lady has a dog and a baby and a pink gun, and she decides she wants to get a picture in the bathtub with all three of it. I That's not a big deal. There's no laws against taking pictures with children and dogs in bathtubs with guns, so yeah. But why, right? Why the hell would you do that? I don't know, it's kind of a cool picture. Okay, this one, at first I was like, hey, it's not a big deal, car just drove into an alleyway or something, right? No, because the thing behind the car blocks it from getting out. In front of the car, it can't get out, so the car must have fallen from the top down there. How? I don't know. But stupider shit has happened with drivers, okay? The average person should not be driving. I like this one because, once again, guys, how do you explain most of these photos? Art. If it's if it's really weird, it's usually art. You know, even that girl in the bathtub, that's art, right? I mean, it's a guy taking a photo. Photos are art, something like that, I don't know. This guy, obviously he's a model, because he's got his chest out, right? I mean, he's, he's posing for the camera. Uh, so obviously that means this guy is, is participating in some art. Someone put the truck in there, had to get the truck in there. I can't explain that much to you, but I mean, geez, not that hard to put a vehicle somewhere. These aren't weird enough. I need weirder. Okay, that, I, I, yeah, yeah I, I think I, I think I found it. Have you ever seen the show My Strange Addiction? Because I have. And I think this guy might have a strange addiction. Okay. You think someone took this photo or you think that you think this guy just put the camera on a tripod? I mean, if he's weird enough to put this on the internet, he's probably weird enough to get someone else to take the photo for him. The guy obviously is a little bit lonely aside from whoever is holding the camera. But, you know, I'm willing to bet it's probably a family member or something. Like, oh, got to go over to Jim's house. That's my brother. He's, uh, he likes to bang anthropomorphic mice women. You know, I was gonna say this photo isn't that unexplainable because, I mean, clearly it's uh, a person with dwarfism wearing a mask and they're waiting for their turn to hit the bong. I mean, not a big deal, right? Except for the fact that those are not the proportions of someone with dwarfism. Oh, wait a minute. Well, this is a movie. Are you kidding me? Give me, give me that shit. Let me watch the movie. The Hood has never seen anything like this before. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Warwick Davis. Hey. Ice tea. What Warwick Davis? Really? The Warwick Davis Professor Flitwick is in this movie. So I guess, I guess he is just a regular old dwarf. Okay, I think I figured it out, guys. I was really confused because this guy's hands look like they came all the way down to his knees, but I think he's just got his shorts pulled up really high or something. I don't know, man. Is this seriously a movie, though? Ice tea. Leprechaun in the hood. Coming year 2G. Look for it on video and DVD. Do I want to though? So you know how I said that usually they can just be explained by saying it's art? Well, there's actually another rule as well. If it's Japanese, it can be explained as follows. It's Japanese. Japan? I love you. I mean, I've never I've never been there. I've, I've never experienced you before, but the things that I've seen come out of you are pretty great. That's what she said. No. But seriously, no country puts out more weird shit per capita than Japan does. It's a girl with her belly button hooked up to some sort of box with lights in it. I don't know what the hell's on the side of that box. There's some sort of thing down below as well. And there's some sort of big bird ass looking dude with I don't know what coming out of him. Oh, what? Is there something so unexplainable about a pregnant woman in a bikini giving herself a shower in the winter while two people smoke next to her? No, there's not. It's totally normal. I'll be real with you guys, I really want one of these. I think you can probably tell what I blurred out and damn. Does this lady, is? Uh, did you make this lady? Do you sell these? Woman, I need to know. Life-size sock monkey. Oh, wow. Out of stock, really Walmart? Come on, don't crush my dreams. I mean, I know it's not the same monkey. It doesn't have all the parts that I wanted it to have, but you know, I kind of like the knockoff bootleg homemade version a little bit more. Can you imagine? I could get inside one of these. Do they sell them anywhere? Can I please buy one? Here's a classic sock monkey that's all stitched up in a giant size. At six feet tall, he's the biggest sock monkey that is available. This meticulously made plush will surely be a hit with the kids. 
<laughs> oh, will it? For a good laugh, see how other motorists react when they see your sock monkey buddy sitting in your passenger seat. If this size is a bit too big for your monkey business, check out this guy's little friend, Sock Monkey Jr. 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes and I'll buy it. Teddy, I have something you need to see. Look at that monkey, Teddy. How can you compete with that? Huh? You can't. Okay, I think we're gonna end this video with this photo right here. It's a naked guy sitting on a pile of wood while one lady fights him and the other lady, geez, I don't know what the hell she's doing. I think she might be doing this though. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say this. They don't look very Japanese, so it must be art. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever want a part two of me looking at unexplainable photos on the internet, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.